Hi guys, in this video, I am going to talk about data warehouse models. Basically, models means how we are going to project our data warehouse or you can say how we are going to create our data warehouse in different different models. Basically, there are three models, data mart, enterprise warehouse model and virtual warehouse model. In this video, we are going to discuss about Data Mart. Data Mart contains a subset of organizational wide data. This Data Mart is like it is like uh, a part of the subject. It is stored in the Data Mart. Suppose you want to store a data for a college in your data warehouse. So the data mart can be a collection of data of physics subject, collection of data of computer science subject, collect, uh, uh, collection of data of electronic subject. So data mart is a subset of organizational data or you can say data mart is a part of data warehouse data. So data mart is basically a small part or you can say data mart is specific to a particular subject it is like if you want to store data for a college in a data warehouse then you can store the data of computer science science in one data mart and electronics in other data mart or you can also say in other word data mart contain data specific to particular group just like in the example computer science data can be kept in a uh, data mart of computer science or in electro electronic engineering in data in electronic engineering data mart so you can say uh, collection of data mart will now become our data warehouse so data mart is a subset of uh, data of organizational wide data data mart are small in size the size of the data mart are small data mart are flex flexible as the size is small it is flexible now the question arises why do we need data mart or uh, we can directly put our uh, college uh, data in data warehouse directly without being making the data mart so this question arises why do we need data mart or what are the reasons for creating data mart first access control strategy after you divide the data into subsets of data that is data mart access control strategy now accessing that data will be easy how it will be easy suppose i want to search about what was the total number of campus that came for computer science branch in particular year of 2017 then i can easily find this information in the data mart of computer science if suppose i want to find the same query in the collection of data warehouse where no data marts were present and all data were present directly then for finding the solution i need to query more and i need to be more refined so access control strategy increases what you want to access uh, from the data mart will be easy different hardware platform suppose computer science data is kept in a uh, platform of windows or you can say uh, electronics department data is kept in linux server so when there are different different servers present then for such type of thing we need data mart because different hardware platform there are different different hardware platform and we can keep different hardware platform in a separate place like we can keep computer science data that is on windows in a platform of windows operating system or if the data of um, electronic is in linux then we can keep the data of um, electronics in the linux platform so data mart helps in different hardware platform third to speed up query since you divide the data based on subsets or based on the subject then 
if you fire any query for any result then speed will be increased why speed will be increased suppose you want to find that what was the total number of placement from computer science department suppose you were not having any data mart then there will be around 10000 student in the college and then you have to find suppose from 10000 50 students were from computer science were there who got placed now if you search from just a data mart of computer science then query result will be fast because the number of result that need to be searched in that data mart will be very less easy access to frequently need data suppose my frequently need data for computer science is what is the total number of professor that are available in computer science department this i am needing regularly on regular basis so if i have data mart uh, which have a data of particular subject then i can easily access that data in very less amount of time so easy access to frequently needed data improves end user response times since in data mart the sub uh, data kept is of particular subject then response for a query will increase just like in the example i have given suppose you want to search what was the total number of placement from computer science department then it will be easy because um, number of results it need to derive from computer science branch only suppose there were 200 students in computer science department and out of only 50 get placed so uh, searching result from 200 will give you uh, the result in very quick time so it improves the end user response time now coming to the what is uh, what is the difference between data warehouse and data mart or you can say a uh, how you will know what is the real difference between data mart and data warehouse data warehouse for corporation data warehouse is mainly used for where uh, for big corporations uh, like it industries like uh, uh, google can have their uh, own data warehouse which have different different departments data mart line of business suppose you are having a very small line of business like if you want to store the data for any e branch only then you can create the data mart multiple subjects in data warehouse we have multiple subject different different subjects but in data mart we have uh, data of one particular subjects like data warehouse can have subjects uh, of uh, computer science electronics mechanical civil and so on but data mart will keep the data of one particular subject like computer science only many data sources in data warehouse there are many different different sources like it will have the data of computer science electronics mechanical civil and so on but in data mart it will have very few sources like if you are uh, keeping data of computer science then it can have data from uh, different sources like it can have data of computer science engineering students uh, mca student me students and so on years of data in data warehouse we have uh, data of years and in data marts we have data for months this was all for the video in the next video i am going to talk about what are the types of data mart thank you